Hey guys, welcome back to our segment routing traffic engineering series. In the last couple episode, we kind of focused around the TLFA and we did some hands on around the TLFA. Uh, to continue in the series, today we're going to talk about another very important concept uh, within the segment routing. So far by this time, I'm sure you all know how to configure segment routing and how would you go ahead and configure a prefixed, which is but nothing but simply a node prefixed that uniquely identifies your node within the topology. So before I go ahead and deep dive, let's quickly talk about the lab topology that we are using. In this lab topology, we have router R1, we here is router R2, this is router R3, router 4, router 5 and router 6. So this is the topology that we had used in the TLFA hands-on also. We'll go ahead and primarily be using the same topology. So one of the important concepts that we're going to go ahead and talk about today is called the Anycast set basically. And if you have worked with any other product, uh, I'm sure you must have heard about this particular terminology, Anycast group or Anycast set, Anycast gateway, or if I have to put like a pretty generic term around the technology if you guys have worked with like a, a vpc pair where you have two devices which are you know configuring to provide redundancy in case one of the device goes down you still can use the another device pretty much similar kind of a concept so let's go ahead and quickly visualize and then we'll go ahead and talk about this feature so so far uh what we have been doing we go ahead and configure and we assign a node prefix or simply the prefix said to usually individually to our routers and that that prefix said is nothing but the node prefix said that uniquely identifies that particular router within the topology and so far in our hands-on we have been using the loopback ip address as a way to identify that router in the topology using a prefix said so now in case of an anycast said which is also called as anycast group by the way so now instead of assigning a unique ID to a specific router, we can go ahead and combine, in this case, let's say there are two router, R1 and 2, which are indicated by 16,001, 16,002. They can have their own also, or we can go ahead and configure a common ID for both of the nodes. And that way we can configure two of the nodes into a single group. That is called your Anycast group. So what is the advantage? Now, let's say, in this case, a router R1 is trying to reach router Z. So now, this router A has two potential paths. Yes, obviously, it can take the top path, go to node 1. From there, it can go to node 3, and then it can go to Z. The second path is router A can go to node 2. From 2, it can go to 4. 4, it can go to Z. But what happens in this case when we are configuring, let's say, a static route or an explicit path? We'll go ahead and say, okay, hey, you know, A, you go to 16,001, followed by you go to 16,003, and then you go ahead and reach the Z. So this is our explicit path. Yes, you can go ahead and configure multiple path also. But let's say we decided to configure the path A to 1, 1 to 3, and then Z. So now what happens in this case that let's say this is the prefix set of node 1, which is 16,001, and something happens to our node 1. That means your first node or first label becomes invalid. And guys, you know, if the if the policy is not able to resolve very first label, it'll go ahead and shut down the policy and it will say, okay, hey, this is an invalid path. So how do we overcome? So what we are doing, okay, hey, instead of configuring a unique ID for the router, we are configuring two router into a single group. Now, what is the advantage? Now, when we are configuring an explicit path, instead of pointing it to 16,001, we can go ahead and say, hey, you know, you go to 16,012, let's say in this case. So now, router A has two potential paths to reach 16,002. Yes, it can go ahead and take the top path or it can go ahead and take the bottom path. But router A's first objective is to reach 16,012. So that means even in one of the node, even in, even if one of the node goes down, our policy will be stay and remains intact and it will be a valid policy because 16002 is still available and being advertised the other node which is available. So this is the advantage that we are gaining as soon as we move into the Anycast group or Anycast set. 
and usually in a network where you are looking for a tendency for certain kind of a node you can go ahead and configure those node into the anycast group or anycast uh, group basically and this anycast group or this id is simply called as your anycast prefix set so now hopefully you got the idea behind that so let's quickly go ahead and read couple lines and then we'll go ahead and do a hands-on around the same so so far what it says hey prefix set that we know can be a node set or a any cast set that means a prefix set either can be a node set or it can be an any cast set so far in our hands-on we have been using the prefix set purely for the node set a node set is a type of prefix set that identifies a specific node that's what we have been doing when we say okay prefix set one two three that means we have been using the node set and that node set is helping us identify that node into the topology of the network and any cast set this is a new set that we are exploring today and any cast set is a type of a prefix set so again this is a type of a prefix set only guys again you know we have a prefix set and we have an adjacency set and so far in the prefix set we have been using the node set today we are exploring the other type which is your any cast set so what it says an any cast set is a type of a prefix set that identifies a set of node guys pay attention to the word here the sentence is set of nodes now instead of trying to identify a single node to identify a single node we have been using node set but now to identify a set of node we will be using the any cast set and is configured so when you are configuring doing the configuration there is a special flag which is called n flag clear so n stands for node and simply you are clearing the you are saying okay hey this prefix set is not a node prefix set that's the reason we say n flag clear we are clearing that node flag by default it is the node flag is set so we are just trying to clear that node flag the set of node which we are calling them any cast group is configured to advertise a shared prefix address that's what we saw in this particular topology instead of advertising a unique prefix set we are advertising a common prefix set here and that's what it says is a shared prefix address and a prefix set that means we'll be configuring the same prefix set to a set of node like in this case same prefix set is being configured for node 1 as well as node 2 we have another anycast group for 3 and 4 so that's what it says here anycast routing enables the steering of traffic towards a multiple advertising node that means we can send the traffic to either of the node that way we achieve redundancy as well as you know some kind of a load balancing continuing on that one so it clearly says okay to configure a prefix set or any cast prefix set we need to go ahead and use something called n flag clear so let's go ahead and quickly talk about this what is this n flag clear so what it says okay hey by default let's see if you take a look at this particular paragraph on the same document and again guys i'm referencing to this is called official documentation so by default the n flag is set on the prefix set. that means by default whenever we configure when we, we were writing prefix set and index that means the n flag is set that means it's on indicating it is a node set so that means if we do not do anything specific that is a node flag for specific prefix set for example any cast prefix set when we are configuring enter the n flag keyword so we would have to write this keyword in our configuration that says n flag clear that way it will go ahead and clear the node flag from that prefix set converting that prefix set into a shared set or a prefix set that we are using for our any cast group so that that's what we need to go ahead and use that guy so let's quickly take an example here yes so here is it so when we configuring a prefix set we'll go ahead and use this keyword that says n flag clear again and once that is done we can go ahead and verify the same thing by using the show isis database for boss command when you run that command you look for under that node name so you will find the specific node name under that node name look for the uh, this line that says prefix set that means for this particular prefix set look for the line that says prefix attribute flag and in this case okay here it says n is equals to zero that means by default and you know here it is we are kind of a clearing this one and again we'll go ahead and you know take a look at some of these things with the hands-on so hopefully you got the idea what are we trying to achieve here that now we are trying to configure redundancy among the nodes with the help of something called an anycast group 
So now let's go ahead and quickly jump on to the hands-on and we'll go ahead and do the similar configuration. So in this lab, we will be configuring node 5 and our node 4, 1 into an AnyCast group. So we'll go ahead and instead of assigning them an individual node ID, we'll go ahead and configure them into a part of a AnyCast group. So router 5 and router 41 will be a part of one single AnyCast group and they both will be advertising the same prefix SID. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the end flag also. So right now we are on router 1. And if you quickly take a look at the forwarding table on this router, this router says, okay, hey, 2, 3, there is no reference to 4 and 5 or there is anything in this particular case. And at this stage, if I go ahead and run the command show, I, okay, before I go ahead and do that, I had done a, a basic uh, segment routing configuration, guys. As you can see, the segment routing is configured. For this interface, we have configured a prefixed index 1. That means this is a node index. One and if we go ahead and do show ISIS database for boss and we are on router R1 right now. So you can clearly see okay, hey, this is router R1. So if you go ahead and scroll down further into router R1, if you pay attention to this for these two lines, the very first line says okay, hey, prefix said for this router is one. And if you take a look at where it says prefix attribute and look at the flag and look at the flag N1. That means this flag is set. That means this is our node SID. So the flag is set. So now when we go ahead and configure the router 4, 1 and 5 into a any cast group, we will be clearing this particular flag. So now let's go ahead and jump to our router 5 and we'll go ahead and configure this router into the Okay, so now let's go ahead and before I do that, let's go ahead and say show run router ISIS. So if you see here right now, we do not have any segment routing configured under our loopback and we are not advertising any node prefix or anything. So now let's go to router ISIS. So we'll say router ISIS. And this is the interface that we are using. So we'll say interface loopback zero. We'll go to address family IPv4 unicast. And I will say prefix set index. So we can go ahead and pick an index, whatever you want. Let's say I will go ahead and pick this is our 5, this is our 41. So let's go ahead and pick a prefix set index of maybe 541. Now, if I press and enter at this in time, that means we'll go ahead and configure this as a node set, but we are interested in configuring this as any cache. So if you press a question mark here, we have an option that says n flag clear, clear n flag for the prefix set. That means we are interested in not to configure a node set but mostly into an any cast group so now we'll go ahead and say n flag clear that's all now go ahead and commit the change and just come out simply so if you go ahead and take a look at your configuration again so show run router isis and at this stage if you take a look at here under interface loopback zero we did configure prefix set index 541, but at the same time, we did n flag clear. Okay. That means we are interested in configuring in any cast set. So now let's go ahead and simply repeat the configuration on our other node. So we did this on the node 41. Now let's go ahead and do it on the router 5 also, guys. So now let's go ahead and take a look at if you do show run router ISIS. And at this stage, if you see, we do not have any configuration under the loopback zero. So now let's go to the configuration mode again and we'll say router ISIS1. We'll go interface loopback zero. We go under address family. And under address family, we'll go ahead and again configure prefix set index, same 541 with the N flag clear. Now let's commit the chain guys and come out. So at this stage, if you noticed uh, on both the router 5 and 41, we have configured the same prefix set with the n flag clear. That means now, inst I do not, I have not assigned a unique ID or node ID to these nodes. I'm just, you know, using these nodes with their prefix set index. We can go ahead and assign them their unique ID also. And we'll explore that maybe in the other episode. So right now, both of these router are using the same shared prefix set index. So at this stage, if I go back to router R1 again, and let's quickly take a look at our forwarding table first of all, guys. So in the forwarding table, now we have a prefix set index that says a 541. And if you see, there is no change here. It says, okay, hey, there is a SAR prefix with an index ID of 541 right now. 
okay so now if i go ahead and rerun the same configuration again which is show isis database over boss and we are right now on rar r1 so for rar r1 it says okay here the prefix set index is one and the prefix attribute the n flag is set so the n flag value has one so now let's pay attention look for the rar 41 or rar 5 the similar information let's go ahead and scroll down this output right now we are on rar 2 let's go ahead and scroll further guys Okay, let's scroll further, further, RAR3, let's scroll further. Okay, let's scroll, for, okay, now we are into RAR5. So if you take a look at here for RAR5, it says, okay, the prefix SID index for this RAR is 541. And if you take a look at where it says a prefix attribute flag, the end flag is clear right now. So that indicates, okay, this 541 is not a node prefix. It's probably a any cast SID. And now we can go ahead and take a look at the same thing for our router 41. So right now on router 5, let's go ahead and scroll down this output. And let's look for our node 41. So we look at router 6 here right now. Okay, now we are at the router 4. For router 4, we are looking at the prefix set index 541. And we are looking at again the prefix attribute flag where the n flag is clear guys so that also indicates okay hey this is not a node index mostly in any case now we saw that same thing being repeated on two router that indicates that these two routers are advertising this particular shared prefix set into the network topology that means if somebody wants to let's say in this case a router r1 is interested in reaching router 6 so router r1 can just simply make use of this prefix sid to reach router 6 that means it can pick either the top path or this bottom path or the middle path depending on whatever path the system decides to. and we are getting an advantage also we have a redundancy let's say the system was designed to take the path and the bottom path if this path fails now we are using a shared prefix sid it can go ahead and use the same top path because there is no change in any of those things so this is the whole concept or idea behind the prefix sid guys so again you know any cast so we can go ahead and configure something in redundancy mode and that's how we do that use with the help of the n clear flag when we are configuring the prefix set index we'll go ahead and specify that particular flag so that'll be all for this episode in the next episode we will go ahead and create some policies and we'll go ahead and utilize these particular any cast group or any cast set That'll be all for this episode. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.